Recording in progress. Hi, students. In this lecture, I am going to discuss first angle of friction. After that, calculation of friction. Let us see first one. So it is the angle made by the resultant of normal reaction and limiting friction with normal reaction. The tangent of angle of friction is equal to the coefficient of static friction. Let us see the definition part. Suppose we are taking a block. So on this block, one is normal reaction. What call up? Suppose limiting friction is now. Limiting friction is now. <coughs> Let us take it as right side at the contact means by ground on the block limiting friction is right set now resultant of this two resultant of these two forces normal reaction and limiting friction resultant of those two is now contact force right it is a contact force so resultant of limiting friction and normal reaction with normal reaction. So this is now that angle. So take it as a five. This is called angle of friction. So from this, what we can say? Normal reaction and limiting friction, they are mutually perpendicular. This is now resultant of those two. Then angle made by resultant angle made by resultant with normal reaction tan phi is equal to see what I can write so in from vectors right, we have learned in vectors there are two vectors which are mutually perpendicular this is now resultant of those two vectors and this is angle made by resultant with normal reaction. Then this angle is given by tan phi equal to opposite is FL. It is FL limiting friction upon normal reaction. And we have learned that limiting friction is mu s into normal reaction upon normal reaction. Right? So n gets cancelled. So tan of the angle of friction is equal to coefficient of static friction, right? So first one, it is the angle made by resultant of normal reaction and limiting friction with normal reaction. So from this diagram, we can say that tan phi equal to limiting friction by normal reaction. Now, limiting friction is mu s into normal reaction. Normal reaction gets cancelled. So, tan phi equal to mu s. That means uh, tan or tangent of tangent of angle of friction is equal to coefficient of static friction. Right? That is what we have discussed in these two points. See once. It is the angle made by the resultant of normal reaction and limiting friction with normal reaction. And second point is the tangent of angle of friction is equal to the coefficient of static friction. Right? Let us now focus the main important one is the calculation of friction. So majority of the students getting confusion here. Let us see step by step how to calculate let us take a problem. So first I will discuss here 
the steps which we have to follow to calculate to calculate frictional force so step one so these things we have discussed in newton's class of motion step one is see reference frame from which reference frame we are solving the problem next focus which object we are focusing that is what we call system the second one is now system okay now step three focus free body diagram so these are the steps we have followed in loss of motion so i'm taking the same reference frame system free body diagram after having that I calculate normal reaction okay calculate normal reaction next after having normal reaction calculate limiting friction limiting friction is mu s into normal reaction okay next calculate net force parallel to a contact surface let us call it as f parallel calculate calculate net force parallel to the contact surface so here we are not taking friction okay apart from friction remaining forces next step if f par parallel is greater than limiting friction then body moves if f parallel is greater than limiting friction then body moves in that case frictional force will be kinetic friction see carefully if f parallel is greater than limiting friction then friction will be kinetic which is nothing but mu k into normal reaction already we got here normal reaction so we can find kinetic friction okay so next possibility if tf parallel less than or equal to limiting friction okay then frictional force will be equal to f parallel means only modulus bond i am taking here only modulus bond direction will be opposite to f parallel okay so these are the steps we have to follow to avoid confusion to calculate friction let us take a problem to get more clarity let us consider consider a block of mass 3 kg here applying a force let us take it as a 20 newton and this angle take it as 37 and take coefficient of static friction 0 0.6 coefficient of kinetic friction 0 0.5 so question is now calculate frictional force by ground on the block calculate frictional force by the ground on 3 kg block let us see now step 1 focus reference frame so we are solving the question from ground frame okay so from ground frame means there is no pseudo force okay system here there is only one block therefore there is no confusion focus only 3 kg block next focus free body diagram that means now focus how many forces are acting on 3 kg block let us see now how many forces are acting on 3 kg block. Okay. 
So on 3 kg block, number of forces that are acting. Let's start with gravitational force. By taking G value 10, gravitational force is mg downwards, 30 Newton. Normal reaction upwards, that is n. Next, for the applied force, take components. This is F cos 37, F value 20, cos 37, 4 by 5, 5, 24 times, it is now 16. And if you take along vertical, that component is F sin 37, F value 20, sin 37, 3 by 5. This is now becoming how much? 12, right? That is equal to N plus 12. Okay. Now here, <clears throat> block has no motion along vertical. Block has no motion along vertical. Therefore, along vertical, net force must be equal to 0. So I'm writing here along vertical n plus 12 should be balanced by mg. Okay. From this we can write normal reaction is equal to 30 minus 12. That is 30 minus 12. That is equal to how much? It is 18, right? 18 Newton. So we got normal reaction. After having normal reaction, we have to focus limiting friction. Next step, limiting friction. Limiting friction is mu s. Mu s value is 0 0.6. So 0 0.6, 0 0.6 into 18. See how much we got? 6 times 60. 6 is 48. It is now 108. That means it is a 10.8. Am I correct? Check it once. 6 tenths 60. 6 eighths 48. 60 plus 48 to 108 is 10.8 Newton. That is now limiting friction. Right? <clears throat> then see what is the next step. We have to calculate what is the net force parallel to Contact surface. In this <clears throat> parallel to contact, the only force is now F cos 37. That is now 16. So F cos <clears throat> F cos 37. That is 16. That is the only force. Okay, apart from friction. Okay. Now, see seventh step. If F parallel greater than F limiting, then friction will be kinetic. Ration is block comes into motion. Limiting value 10.8. But what is now F parallel? It is a 16, which is greater than 10.8. Okay. That means now body is coming into motion. So body is moving. When body moves with respect to contact surface, friction is a kinetic. That means now friction force is a current. So F equal to Fk. It is a current. So kinetic means mu k into n. So mu k value given 0 0.5. Normal reaction is 18. That means it is now 9 Newton. Right. I hope you got clarity. If you can follow step by step like this, there will be no confusion. Okay, you feel very comfortable while solving problems. Right. Okay. Let us take one more one more problem.
Okay, take the next problem. Right. Let us stay. Let us stay. An inclined plane. It is a rough inclined plane. Angle of inclination. Take it as 37. And take mu s value 0 0.8 mu k value 0 0.7 okay we are placing a block on the rough inclined plane right we want to calculate the frictional force acting on the block right let us follow systematic way so first we have to focus from which frame we are solving the problem. Now we are solving the problem from ground frame, right? Next, system, there is only one block. So there is no confusion, focus that block. Next, free body diagram. So now focus how many forces are acting on this block, okay? So I'm taking number of forces acting. EMG downwards, normal reaction, normal to the contact surface, normal reaction. Next, let us now focus components for EMG, okay, along the incline, that is EMG sin 37 normal to contact okay it is mg cos 37 okay right so first of all see normal reaction normal reaction is mg cos 37 <coughs> let us take mass equal to 2 kg if mass is 2 kg mg will be 20 20 cos 37 okay it is 20 or simply only in terms of mass mg cos 37. Now calculate, now calculate limiting friction. So limiting friction is mu s, mu s value 0 0.8. 0 0.8 into mg cos 37. Cos 37 means Cos 37 is 4 by 5, right, mg. 4 by 5 means it is 0 0.8, 0 0.8, 0 0.8. That is 0 0.64 mg. That is F limiting, okay. Next, next calculate net parallel force. Means net force parallel to the contact surface that is mg sin 37 right this is the only force acting apart from friction okay so f parallel that is equal to mg into what is now sin 37 it is 0 0.6 okay sin 37 is 3 by 5 3 by 5 means 0 0.6 six right next step if f parallel greater than f limiting then block moves see carefully here f limiting is for f parallel is 0 0.6 times mg f limiting is 0 0.64 times mg so f limiting is more so condition 8 it is f parallel less than or equal to f limiting then frictional force equal to f parallel so only modulus values here getting the point so here now this condition is satisfied therefore block does not move okay. this condition satisfied means block does not move therefore block does not move means this force is balanced by 
frictional force. So friction is now starting. Okay. I can write here it is friction is starting. So frictional force equal to how much? It is mg sine 37. Direction is since the block is not moving, net force must be zero. So along the incline, net force zero means frictional force has to balance mg sine 37. Right? So like this, we can calculate frictional force. So we have to follow systematic way to avoid confusion. Right? A reference frame, system, free body diagram, normal reaction. After having that limiting friction, next calculate of parallel, then conditions. <laughs> I hope you got clarity. Let us solve now questions. See the first question. A block of mass 3 kg is on a rough horizontal surface. The coefficient of static and kinetic frictions are 0 0.9 and 0 0.6. Mass given 3 kg. Static and kinetic frictions 0 0.9, 0 0.6. The minimum horizontal force required to start the motion is applied. Minimum horizontal force required to start the motion is applied and is continued. Then find the velocity of the body at t equal to 5 seconds. <clears throat> So take G equal to 10 meter per second square. Let us see the given data and how to start the problem. So first write down mass given 3 kg. Given mu is 0 0.9 mu k value 0 0.6 now at t equal to 5 seconds what is velocity condition starting from rest and see what is given we are applying force horizontally condition given that minimum horizontal force is applied to move the block see here Limiting friction how much? Limiting friction is mu s into normal reaction. Force is applied only horizontally. So along vertical mg downwards, that is 30. Next, normal reaction upwards. Along vertical, there is no force, there is no motion. So along vertical, net force must be equal to zero. Therefore, normal reaction is equal to 30. Now see mu s. Mu s value 0 0.9. Right? N value, how much? 30, right? This is now limiting friction, which is equal to 3 nines. 27, right? 0 is there. Limiting value 27. So if we apply horizontally 27, then body comes into motion. I am repeating. If we apply horizontally 27 Newton, then body moves. Now condition is given that if that force is continued, that means after the body comes into motion, we are continuing the same force. Okay. Then what is velocity when t equal to 5 seconds, right? So once the body comes into motion, friction will be kinetic. See kinetic how much? Kinetic equal to mu k into normal reaction. Mu k value 0 0.6. Normal reaction is 30. This is now 18 Newton, right? 
So once the body comes into motion, friction becomes a kinetic. But condition given that the same force is now continued, means still we are applying 27 only. But friction how much? Only 18. So what is now net force? Net force equal to applied force 27. Friction is 18 because body is in motion. So net force equal to 27 minus 18, that is 9. Okay. And you are given mass of the block is 3 kg. Therefore, acceleration is 9 by 3. Mass is 3. This is now 3 meter per second square. Right? So, since we got acceleration, condition given that when t equal to 0, velocity is 0. So, now I can use the equation. Since acceleration constant, we can use v equal to u plus a t. Okay. u value 0. a value 3. t given 5 seconds. It is now 15. So its velocity is now 15 meter per second. Okay. So like this, we can solve the problem. <laughs> right. Let us see next problem. So this question is asked in IIT 1994 for one mark. See the question carefully. A block of mass 0 0.1 kg is held against a wall applying a horizontal force of 5 Newton on the block. Mass given 0 0.1 is held against a wall applying a horizontal force of 5 Newton on the block. If coefficient of friction between the block and the wall is a half, the magnitude of frictional force acting on the block is. So from the options, we can guess that we should take G value 9.8. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Applying here, horizontal force of 5 Newton mass 0 0.2, mu value 0 0.5. Let us see how we solve the problem. So if you want, you can try once or for one. And after that, you can see the solution. Means how we are starting the problem. Let us take. This is wall. Means wall is now into this board. Okay. Wall is now into the board. That means that wall appears just like a just like a line, right? Suppose this is a block. That means here we are not seeing the wall from the front. Okay, we are seeing the wall from one side. So wall looks like a line. So block of mass, mass given 0 0.1 kg. Applying a Horizontal force of 5 Newton. Force is a horizontal and applying normal to wall. Since nothing mentioned, we are taking a force is applied normal to wall. Okay. Now, we have to calculate frictional force. So, just now we have discussed follow systematic way. Okay. Step 1, reference frame. We are solving from ground frame. Step 2. System, there is only one block. So focus the same block. Step three, free body diagram. See how many forces are acting on the block. Applied force, five Newton. Normal reaction from the wall. See normal to the wall, there is no motion for the block. Therefore, normal reaction should balance applied force. Therefore, n should be equal to 5. Okay. Next, after having normal reaction, we have to calculate limiting friction. 
So we are given mu value half, right? So limiting value mu s into normal reaction that is a five, right? So how much five five is twenty five? It is two point five newton. Okay. Next, calculate parallel to the contact. So here wall is now contact surface parallel to that. We have mg vertically downwards, which is a parallel to wall. That is now 0 0.1 into 9.8. That is 0 0.98. Students, see carefully. This weight is a parallel to wall. Okay. Parallel to wall. So this is now F parallel. Okay. We got F limiting and we got F parallel. Now compare these two. F limiting 2.5. F parallel 0 0.98. So F parallel is now less than F limiting. Here F parallel is less than F limiting. That means block does not move. Block does not move. Its meaning is this weight is balanced by frictional force. That means now frictional force is it is a static friction which is a self adjusting. Okay. Now friction becomes how much? It is equal to F parallel. So 0 0.98 Newton. Okay. Like this, we have to follow systematic way to find frictional force. So I hope you got the clarity.